Hi everyone, welcome to iTrust. My name is Aditya Mathur. I am the center director, and it's time for us for a brief tour of the iTrust test beds. SWOT stands for Secure Water Treatment Plant. This is one of the first test beds that we built in 2015. This is a six-stage test bed for water treatment. I'll take you through all the six stages. So right here we have stage one, which is the raw water stage. And the PLC which you see here inside this cabinet is responsible for getting the water from outside, which is from SUTD, into this raw water tank. There's a valve behind this raw water tank. When opened, that the water comes into this tank. So that is one of the goals of PLC-1, to make sure that this tank is always uh, full or at least water is available in this tank for filtration. So water flows from stage 1 to stage 3 via stage 2. What you see here are three tanks. This is tank 201. It has NaCl. Then this is a tank which has HCl. And this is a tank that is NaOCl. And you can see the orange colored pumps for dosing these chemicals into water. The PLC here, which is the second stage PLC, is responsible for controlling these pumps and it does so with the help of the uh, three chemical parameters, which are pH, conductivity and ORP. Once these, parameters are, once these parameters are set, the water is of course flowing to stage three, where it is ready for filtration. We are now in stage three. The PLC in stage three is responsible for managing ultrafiltration. So what it does is, the water which is to be filtered is in this tank and it uses the pumps here to move the water through the ultrafiltration unit here, the white cylinder, up through this and the water comes out, the pure water comes out and goes to the RO feed tank in stage 4. So this is the ultrafiltration unit, the white cylinder, and the water goes from bottom and comes out at the top from where it goes to the tank which is the RO feed tank. There's a pump here which is used to move the water from the, uh, from the UF feed tank outside to the RO feed tank. There is also a differential pressure indicator which indicates the pressure drop across the ultrafiltration unit. If the pressure drop is beyond the threshold, then a backwash process is started to clean the ultrafiltration unit which where the small particles in water are stuck and that's what causes the pressure drop to increase. We are now in stage four. The primary purpose of stage four controller, the PLC4, is to make sure that the water that goes to the reverse osmosis stage does not have free chlorine. So it does so by moving the water through this UV dechlorination unit. This unit has six UV lamps, and when the water flows through this, free chlorine is removed. We also have NaHSO3 tank here. In case this is not working, then that's a backup. All right, we are now in stage five. Uh, PLC in this cabinet, PLC5, is responsible for controlling this most complex stage of the entire system. What happens here is that there's a variable speed pumps which is used to move the water at a high pressure through the reverse osmosis units. We have a two-stage RO system and the water flows through this and comes out of it as a permeate, which is the pure water, and a reject, which is the not so pure water. These two streams go into different tanks, which are on the other side of the RO units. We are now in stage six, and as I said earlier, water from RO comes into this tank, which is the RO permeate tank, and this tank, which is the UF backwash tank. The PLC six is responsible for controlling the outflow of water from these two tanks. It recycles the water from this tank by moving it into the first tank, the raw water tank, and it is also interacting with PLC three by moving the water from the backwash tank through the ultrafiltration unit from top to down, and then the water that comes out after cleaning the UF tank is drained. So the entire system, entire SWOT is controlled through the SCADA, which you can see here. And this is con connected to all the PLCs via a network. The communication is through different protocols between the SCADA and the PLCs and amongst the PLCs, and also among the PLCs and the actual devices through the uh, RI RIOs, the remote IO units. So that completes our tour of the SWAT test bed.